you use Exodus or another wallet, maybe it has um, high fees, high swap fees, anything of the sort, and you want to use your wallet here on a different decentralized wallet like MetaMask, for example, which may have cheaper fees, may have lower uh, minimums for swaps and also swap fees in general. This is going to show you how to do that. Now, the main thing that we want to do is we want to get our private key. Okay, so if, for example, I am on the Ethereum network, and this can be for any coin, so USDT on the Ethereum network, uh, USD coin on the Ethereum network, they're all going to have the same address. I don't know if you guys are familiar or aware of that. But for decentralized wallets, any coin that's on a specific network, they're all going to have the same address. So what we want to do on Exodus is, uh, and first off, I have not found a way to do this on my mobile app. And this is my desktop version. So if you guys know how to get to here on the mobile app, let me know in the comment section. But I have only found this on the desktop app. So if you don't have the desktop app and you can't find it on the mobile app how to get here, then you might want to download the desktop app. But once you are on the desktop app and you have Ethereum, for example, and you choose the Ethereum network and you have to make sure that you choose the network, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to show you and I'll, I'll show you really quick, okay? So once you are on the network, you're going to click the vertical three dots to the right up here. And then if you do not choose a network, it's not going to show the private key. We're going to grab the private key and then import it into MetaMask, for example. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to choose Ethereum network and then go back to the three vertical dots. And then I want to view the private keys. So yeah, make sure everything is verified here. Yes, I'm sure. Now, once this gets approved and you say yes, you should have another pop up showing your private key. OK, it's going to show you your address, the path the balance, and then the private key. Now, the private key is just as important as your recovery seed phrase, because if anybody gets access to your private key, well, now they get access to that specific uh, network wallet of yours. So you want to make sure this is kept in a safe place. And uh, from there, though, once you have the private key, you're going to copy it and then pull up your other decentralized wallet. Now, I'm going to use MetaMask for this example. I'm not too sure. Uh, Trust Wallet, other decentralized wallets, as long as they can import private keys, then this is going to be the same process. Okay, so on here, I'm on the MetaMask Chrome extension. And I am, first off, uh, I want to make sure that I'm on the correct network. Okay, so top left, if you're using MetaMask for this, click that drop down and then choose the network. Uh, we'll choose Ethereum mainnet. Now, if you guys are getting the, if you want to import the private key from a different network, uh, th then just choose it. Okay. Same thing on Exodus. You're just going to go to that, that specific network, grab that private key, and then uh, make sure it aligns here. So I grabbed the private key for the Ethereum network or the Ethereum mainnet. So I'm going to uh, click this. And then what I want to do is go up top where it says account, click the drop down. And then right here where it says import account is where I want to click. And then the private key that you copied from Exodus or whatever wallet it is that you're trying to import, paste that in here and then hit import. And oh, you can also change this if it's a JSON file or just mainly the private keys, probably what you guys are going to be using. Uh, once you choose that, hit import. And then that's it. So we can see here I have 0 0.0759 Ethereum. And this is going to go for any tokens. OK, so any tokens on this network. So we can see here, if I go to the tokens tab, my Ethereum, I've got 0 0.0759. Uh, I've got 11 cents in Tether, $1 on USD coin. But when you import that specific private key for that network, you can see all the coins from your previous wallet on here. If you need to import tokens, you can also um, import specific tokens if they're not showing up. But I believe if you have a balance showing, then those coins should appear here. Okay. Very, very, very simple. If I go back here to MetaMask, or sorry, my Exodus wallet, for the balance, we can see 0 0.07588. Uh, but on MetaMask, I think they rounded up to 0 0.0759. But that's how you do it, you guys. Very simple. Uh, again, use, and this is me not knowing or 
at least aware of on the mobile Exodus, how to get the private key. So for me, desktop, Exodus, application, uh, choose the network, and then you can get the private key here. Once you have the private key, you can go to any wallet that lets you import private keys and then um, simply copy and paste it in there. And then you now can use your Exodus wallet address on MetaMask. So here now on MetaMask, I have full access. You can double check the address, make sure it, it lines up if you want. But once I am on here, now I can uh, send, I can swap, I can do whatever as if this was an original MetaMask wallet. It's just an imported wallet, but it's pretty cool because if Exodus is ever down and you have your private key saved, well, now you can go and import it across different wallets that may be up and running, maybe have cheaper fees. I know, for example, MetaMask has way cheaper fees than Exodus, and also their swap fees are cheaper, way cheaper, and uh, the minimum to swap as well. So there you guys have it. Uh, you can use this any on any decentralized wallet, this process that lets you import private keys. Uh, that's it. Very simple. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And uh, oh, another thing, another tip. Okay. If you need to send something or some coins from your Exodus wallet to MetaMask or another decentralized wallet, instead of paying the gas fees, you can simply import that account into MetaMask and then just access it directly here. You don't need to send it to your, your different wallet. Just import that same wallet from Exodus, for example, into your MetaMask. And now you have full access without needing to send anything over to my MetaMask wallet. I can just import the private key, access it fully without any of the transaction costs involved. So thank you guys. Hopefully this helps. I will catch you on the next one.